Nashville, Tennessee here with your daily devotion. Been uh, taking a look at uh, Cornelius Plantinga's Beyond Doubt, faith-building devotions on questions that Christians ask. And uh, one of these questions in this book that uh, Plantinga writes about anyway, is how do people see Jesus? Uh, in this particular day's writing, he says, in contemporary Western society, nearly every thinking adult has an opinion about Jesus Christ. Millions of people faithfully believe Jesus to be the divine Son of God and the living Lord of their lives. Probably as many people believe only the first half of that confession. An astonishing number of people claim that Jesus is the divine Son of God, but also that he, frankly, has little to do with their lives. Many, particularly in Europe, think of Jesus as a notable historical figure that others revere. And then there are those with peculiar or even blasphemous opinions about the identity of Jesus. So far, we have considered some questions about God. And uh, now looking at the question of who Jesus is and how people see Jesus, a question that Jesus even asked himself, uh, or asked of his disciples, rather. They went and got out in the boat, John 21 says, but that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. And so sometimes we miss him, don't we? <laughs> John 21, 3 and 4. Plantinga says, to many people, Jesus Christ is a remote figure. Secularists shake their heads in disbelief when they hear Christians say that they love Jesus, talk to Jesus, or have Jesus as their friend. To such secularists, it's as if you said you loved a person from the planet Pluto, regularly spoke with him and counted him among your kin. Incredible nonsense. Pluto is so remote that it can be seen only through the most powerful telescopes, and Jesus Christ died nearly 2,000 years ago. At times, even some Christians view Jesus as a distant person. Liberal Christians who take a highly critical view of the Gospels say the early church made up most of Jesus' words and deeds. Jesus didn't really do the things the Gospels say he did. He didn't really say the things the Gospels say he said. Those things were said and done only by the Christ of faith, an imaginary figure drawn into the Bible by church piety. Uh, the real Jesus, the Jesus of history, is so remote as to be lost in the mists of time. Some conservative Christians also think of Jesus as removed from us and all our littleness. These Christians think Jesus Christ is alive, but they think he is not and has never been really human. He's too lofty, too Christ-like. He never joked. He rarely sneezed. He never dropped a tool or bent a nail. Even as a boy, his knuckles were always clean. The little Lord Jesus, no crying he makes, we would sing. And this Jesus is remote because he's just unreal. Plantinga goes on to say, but the real Jesus Christ is as near to us as our own heartbeat. I love this. And he meets us not only in the churches, upper rooms, and sacred places of our lives. He also meets us where we are grimy and irritated. He meets us when we have gone fishing and caught nothing. <laughs> the risen Lord elects to be with us where we live and where we sweat. <laughs> Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus, and they had been fishing all night long and caught nothing. So when you've given it your best and come up empty-handed, when I've given it my all, and still just can't even see that he's right there, right beside me in the middle of it all, in the darkness of it all, in the despair of it all, in the sweat and toil of it all. The Bible tells me otherwise and reminds me that he will never leave me nor forsake me. Mm. Pantiga closes with his prayer. God, our Father, we've pushed away the one you meant to be with us. We've turned our backs on your son who has come to live with us, to dwell among us. Now, let Jesus stand on our beach in our lives 
where we work and play. In his name, for his glory, amen and amen. Daily Devotions with Pastor Jim Thomas is a resource of the Village Chapel in Nashville, Tennessee. If you find this daily devotional beneficial, leave a review and share it with friends and family. For more resources or to support our ministry, visit our website, thevillagechapel.com. Artwork for this podcast by Kim Thomas. Music by Phil Kagey.